Hi, I'm Liz Wade. And I'm Adam Navis from Spotlight. And it's the 4th, 4th of, of July. July. Or there's another name for it too, Adam. What's that? Independence Day. That's correct. In the United States, we celebrate our Independence Day on July 4th. So that's probably why you'll hear a lot of people say that they celebrate the 4th of July. Even it's Independence though Day. it's the 4th of July all around the world. Yes. And today, we are going to tell you about five things that people do on the 4th of July. Independence Day. I don't, how are we supposed to refer to this? Well, now you know. <laughs> Anyway, join us for five things that U.S. people do on the 4th of July. I've got the first one for you. People love to talk about freedom. Yeah, they do. Freedom is a big deal in the United States. It started way back in 1776, before the country was even founded. Mm -hmm. It was a group of colonies or separate states almost, mm -hmm. and they all decided they don't want to be ruled by Great Britain or any other country. They, they want, want their be, freedom. They want their freedom. They want to be independent. So a bunch of people got together and they signed the Declaration of Independence, which is why we call July 4th Independence Day. The second thing that people do on the 4th of July or Independence Day is wear red, white, and blue. Why? And well, those are the colors of the United States flag. So we have ah. red, white, and blue, and people really love to display the flag and they love to wear the colors so that they are kind of representing the United States. I even have seen people wear uh, swimming suits or hats, or they, they will put the American yes. flag or red, white, and blue on any kind of clothing. Yes, I, or even just the colors. I will admit that I have actually bought my family like special 4th of July clothes before. Oh. Not every year so that we can celebrate the holiday properly. And a lot of people will also decorate their houses in fantastic ways. Maybe huge buntings of uh, red, white, and blue or a gigantic American flag. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a big day that even people who aren't super patriotic still sometimes participate in, in ways of getting dressed up. Yes. The third thing that people love to do to celebrate Independence Day is to get together with friends and family and have a party. Liz, do you like to get together and what do you do when you do uh, 4th of July celebrations? Yes, every 4th of July we gather together with um, some friends and family and we we go to a parade together and then we go and we have a breakfast together. So there's pancakes and sausages. I don't know if those are really American <laughs> foods, but um, we go get together and then, uh, yeah, just have a yeah. party. And then later in the day, we, with my family or maybe other families, uh, then we also have maybe barbecue. We barbecue, oh, which is a- grill? Yeah, yeah, on a grill. So barbecue is one of those weird words that can mean many different things depending on where you are in the United States. And here it can mean uh, just doing something on the grill. Yeah, cooking outside. Yeah. I think a lot of people have that holiday off from work, so it's a great time to get together with yes. family and friends. Yeah. The fourth thing that people in the United States will do on the 4th of July or Independence Day is go to the water. Now in Michigan, we are surrounded by the Great Lakes, so it's very easy for us to go to the water. That's a very common thing to do in the Midwest, but all across the United States, people will find water to go on a boat, to go to a cottage, to just lay out on an inner yeah. tube or down a river. People love to go to the water. Do yeah. you go I, to the water? I live close to the water, but on the 4th of July, because everyone else goes to the water, I often <laughs> stay away from the water. Uh, but it is a lot of fun when the weather is great to go out and uh, we don't own a boat, but um, it's always fun to, to kind of be go water skiing or tubing behind a boat, which can be fun. As I get older, I don't do as much of the adventurous sport, but uh, it is fun to get together with people at the water. There's something special about it. Right, and when you get tired of all that beautiful oh. nature and the sound of waves, there's always... Fireworks. Fireworks! The fifth thing that people do in the United States to celebrate the 4th of July is they 
celebrate with fireworks. It's very popular. Cities often have big displays where people gather for hours earlier as the sun set and they have amazing fireworks displays shot into the air and uh, for a long for time for a long time yeah it feels like they've gotten more and more extravagant <laughs> over the years i'm not a big fan of waiting in crowds but i do like fireworks <laughs> liz do you like fireworks uh no i do I not like I fireworks i wouldn't think you did i <laughs> see this is they they last so long and they're so loud and uh honestly i think they're a little scary but i know that yeah. people around the world love fireworks and some people love them so much adam yeah. that if they can't go to mm -hmm. a city to experience a grand firework display um People like uh, who live in an area where they have their own land, they can set off their own backyard fireworks. Ooh. But that's actually pretty dangerous. In the United States last year, in 2020, uh, setting off backyard fireworks, 18 people died setting off what? backyard fireworks. And over 15,000 were treated for injuries as they were doing fireworks. So fireworks something people do all over the united states on the fourth of july but something that they often get hurt doing yes and often hospital people don't have that day off so they have to go and treat all those <laughs> yeah. people well if you're going to set off any fireworks in the united states i guess our, our warning is be safe yeah. so those are five things that people in the united states do to celebrate independence day do you have an Independence Day in the country where you live? Let us know how you celebrate it in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, hit the little bell so that you always get a notification when there's a new video. We hope that you enjoyed this video. You can check out many more of our U.S. culture and travel videos in one of the playlists that you can see. If you want to become a member of this channel, just click join to learn more. Listen, watch, practice, learn. Spotlight out.